Welcome everyone to one of my most highly requested videos ever. I know it's been about three months since my last history video, but if you've been following this channel since then, you will know that a lot has been happening with me and Midora Entertainment. However, the history videos are now back, and this one is about a channel that we have crossed paths with in many history videos prior. The successor to blocks and channels like Jetix and Toon Disney. Disney XD. I was six years old when Jetix gave way to Disney XD. One of the first shows I remember watching on it is Zeke and Luther, but I of course watched many other shows on it, like Phineas and Ferb, Lab Rats, Kid vs. Cat, Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go, Fillmore, Fish Hooks, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, The Sweet Life on Deck, and Gravity Falls, and then later, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Wander Over Yonder, Star Wars Rebels, Milo Murphy's Law, Crash and Bernstein, everything aired on the Marvel Universe block, and last but not least, Two More Eggs, my favorite Disney XD show. Seriously, if you've never seen Two More Eggs, you absolutely should. You'll be sure to get a kick out of it, trust me. Zarb! I also thought I remembered watching the Superhero Squad show on Disney XD, but apparently that was actually a Cartoon Network show. Anyway, Disney XD was one of the channels I watched the most in the 2010s, and it formed a big part of my later childhood, so it seems only fitting that I cover this channel, and frankly, it's way overdue. So without any further ado, let's get into it. This video picks up about where my Jetix and Toon Disney videos left off, so I recommend you watch those videos if you haven't already. Link is in the video description. On August 6th, 2009, Disney announced its plan to consolidate many of its kids' blocks and channels into one, Disney XD, which launched on February 13th, 2009. It inherited much of the programming from its predecessors, but also had a lot of original shows, like Kick Butowski, Suburban Daredevil, Aaron Stone, Zeke and Luther, Pair of Kings, and Tron Uprising. However, it wasn't until Gravity Falls premiered that they really hit their stride. After that, they started introducing great show after great show. Also, around the time Gravity Falls premiered, Disney XD introduced a block called Marvel Universe, which aired many new superhero shows, although Superhero Squad was not one of them. Instead, it aired shows like The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Ultimate Spider-Man, Hulk and the Agents of Smash, and the Guardians of the Galaxy series. They would also air short series in between main ones, and Two More Eggs was the most famous example of this. In November 2016, it was announced that the Pokemon anime would be moving to Disney XD, with the Sun and Moon series being the first to air on XD one month later. I actually remember when this was taking place. Honestly, I never followed the anime that closely, and I wasn't bothered by the move. What I was bothered by was the change of style of the animation. Such a drastic change from what I was used to. But I digress. In 2018, it was announced that new episodes of Disney XD shows would actually start premiering on Disney XD's older sibling channel, Disney Channel, before airing in reruns on Disney XD. Much like the blocks and channels that came before it, Disney XD used to air internationally. However, due to the advent of Disney+, Plus, the vast majority of these international channels have been shut down. As of 2023, the only country that still operates a Disney XD channel outside of North America is Poland. Honestly, the way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised if Disney XD was eventually shut down in the US too. I mean, Disney Channel is on its last leg at this point, and Disney XD has also been experiencing a decline with the advent of Disney Plus and the shift away from traditional television in general. Obviously though, I hope Disney XD survives for as long as possible, because it's the last link we have to brands like Jetix, Toon Disney, and within the realm of argument, Fox Kids that we still have. If Disney XD is lost and is not replaced, that entire line of blocks and channels spanning back to the 90s will be lost forever. 
I know that in my Jetix video, I said that Disney XD was a worthy successor to Jetix, and I stand by that. Though it may not be the same, XD carries on the shows and the legacy of its predecessors in a good way, and it would be awful if it were all lost. So let's hope that Disney XD lives on for at least a few more years. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this whole situation? Do you think Disney XD has any chance of survival? Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned.